story of Piper Chapman, a woman in her 30s who is forced to leave her privileged lifestyle and her fiancé Larry to move into her new home, Litchfield Penitentiary. She was charged with a 10-year-old crime where she was caught smuggling money to her drug-dealing girlfriend, Alex Voss. Now she's forced to suffer the consequences and finish her 15-month sentence. This video is of my three favorite characters from the show, Piper, Alex, and Red. These costumes were all purchased at thrift stores. I wanna show you how easy it is to do these outfits and these costumes at home. So let's get started with each look. First look, Piper Chapman. Piper's outfits throughout the show come in two variations. You can do the variation with just the plain brown shirt, or you can pair it up with a gray hoodie over top. Now, these are old hospital scrubs that I bought and they were in the color brown, and I got this men's hoodie in the thrift store men's section for $8. I paired up the hospital scrubs with a long sleeve shirt that I found in my drawer, and this also mimics Piper's prison long sleeve shirt, and the high collar is super important for this look and it'll keep you warm at night too. My makeup is super simple. I did a Cupid's bow that is very pointed and I lined inside of my lip line. I used a really easy plum eyeshadow and I filled in my brows and I did not use any foundation at all because the girls in prison don't have foundation. So the trick is to make yourself look like you have very thin lips because Piper has thin lips. And also I just have blonde hair as it is so I took my hair, blew it dry, didn't really straighten it or anything and put one little piece behind my ear just to mimic Piper's hairstyle. I made an ID badge that is a replica of the Litchfield Penitentiary badges that I saw on the show and I took a barcode off of an old shoe box. You can just change the last name in each badge of whatever character you choose to be. And also, you cannot forget the details. My favorite detail was the screwdriver, which was one of the main kind of concepts going on in the show for the first few seasons. And I just took the screwdriver and I put it in my pocket and boom, I'm Piper Chapman. And here comes the legendary Alex Voss. This is Piper's on again, off again prison girlfriend, outside prison and inside prison. Alex's costume was very straightforward. I got a black wig, which was used in my Kylie Jenner tutorial, and this one was actually bought from Spirit Halloween, and I cut it, so I made it a little bit shorter, and um, you can probably find a wig anywhere around this time of year. And also, I bought very low, luckily, prescription glasses from a thrift store, and they were $3, and the frames took me forever to find because they needed to be perfect. And I started to feel nauseous after filming this video because of the prescription. And also, Alex is wearing the same white shirt and scrubs as Piper's costume, and I've rolled up the sleeves because Alex is more of like a rockabilly kind of 
girl, so she really has this kind of unique rockabilly style to her. Also, Alex goes in between the brown shirt look and also the gray hoodie look, so you can put that gray hoodie on as well if you want to, especially if it's cold outside. And for Alex's makeup, it's very straightforward. She has her black wig, well, it's her black hair, and I overlined my lips with a nude glossy color, and I did my winged eyeliner to mimic her Sharpie eyeliner. And make sure your lips look really voluminous. Also, I contoured my face and contoured my nose, and also I did some really strong eyebrows that kind of arch up really high, and that also pairs up with the winged liner look and that rockabilly look. And again, no foundation or anything like that. I just used a bit of concealer to cover up some of my pimples. Next up is the queen bee herself, Red Reznikov. Red and her husband used to run a restaurant in Queens, New York, and eventually they owed the Russian mob about $60,000. And in a very strange turn of events, Red ended up being one of the leaders of the Russian mob because they really liked one of her ideas. But that's how she ended up in prison. So for many years, she was running the kitchen in the prison because it was only natural because she used to run her own restaurant. Now, Red was stripped of her kitchen duties when she was caught smuggling drugs in from Neptune Produce. So for most of the seasons, she's not wearing her kitchen uniform until the end of season three when she's reinstated back into the kitchen. So you don't really need to wear a chef's jacket for this look because for most of it, she's actually just in her gray hoodie and white shirt. But if you do want to wear a chef's jacket and like Crocs, that would be a really cool twist for this outfit as well. So of course, for the first part of this look, you need to have an extraordinarily excellent, heavy Russian accent. You need to speak angrily, but have a soft heart inside. I just waved my hands around pretending to yell at people, and you say what a lot. What? For Red's outfit, I utilized a white t-shirt that's high neck, and then I used the gray hoodie from the previous two looks. And then at the thrift store, I found a pair of red reading glasses, and then I found some yarn that I had stored away in my old art drawer. And then I braided the yarn together, and oddly enough, the colors and everything turned out exactly like Red's. Then I tied everything to the end of the glasses. So next up is Red's legendary makeup, hair, and eyebrows. Look at those. And I found a wig at a thrift store for $3.99, and that's basically what inspired this entire video was finding this wig. I thought to myself, I have to do Orange is the New Black. So I just found a short red wig, and I wish it was a little bit more vibrant, but that's okay. And just make sure to mess it up. Put your hands through it, push it around, mess it up. The more messier, the better. For Red's lips, I took a lip liner and I went all around my mouth in a very messy way, all the way to the edges of my mouth. I didn't want to make it perfect because that's the way it's supposed to look. And then for my eyes, I did a black eyeliner in two different places. I did one line going from the bottom lid and one line going from the upper lid to create this dual kind of look here. And then for my eyebrows, I put on, oh my gosh, I put red lip liner in my brows and it turned out pretty good. I think it was Max Spice that I put in my eyebrows. All of these costume ideas are totally up to you. You can buy actual jail costumes online or you can go to Spirit Halloween and they have the costumes pre-made for you, especially the Piper Chapman one, but that one is like $50. So it's a little bit cheaper to go to the thrift store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's take it away and finish it off. There's no time for class. Of